Hello everyone and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. The Sharks are Challenge Cup champions. You would have thought, who would have thought, on the back of what is potentially one of the worst Sharks domestic seasons they've ever had, they're coming away with a trophy. Absolutely mental. Mental, 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 mental from them. And uh, very, very impressed to for them to, to get uh, the, the victory to have been written off by many, and rightly so, to be honest. And But to rock up when it counted, getting to a final, to rock up, to put in that performance um, against the Gloucester side, which threatened uh, to really go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I mean, fantastic first 10 minutes of defense from the Sharks, which is probably what won them uh, the game, to be honest. And um, probably even more so than the other aspects, like the scrum, for example, which I'll we'll talk about, and, and some of the fantastic um uh, moments that they did have but uh, before we break the game down please do smash a like on the video please do subscribe to the channel as well 36 points 22 is how it ended two late tries from uh uh gloucester sort of making that uh uh that score look a little bit more respectable uh but uh, five penalty goals from sharks so it shows you the uh the the discipline issues that gloucester had and uh, which really let them down three tries a piece uh, three conversions to two. Uh, but let's go through some of the stats, shall we? And look at exactly where it was won. Territory-wise, very even, to be honest. Majority of it sort of uh, uh, played in the sort of between halfway line and the 22 inside the Gloucester territory. Uh, possession, though, for the Sharks uh, had more. In the last 10 minutes, more for, for Gloucester, which kind of made it look a little bit better. Uh, set pieces. That was it, isn't it? Vincent Koch winning man of the match says absolutely everything. The Sharks were... Under so much pressure, Gloucester were on the front foot, hammering away, looking certain to score. The Sharks were down to 14 men. Um, they forced a knock on. They had a scrum, and the rest is history, to be perfectly honest. They had a massive scrum. Oxen chair went straight through um, and won the penalty. Him and Vincent Koch, I think they won about four or five scrum penalties in that first half. 100% um, scrum when compared to Gloucester's 45%. Um, Lineouts weren't as good, 80% for, for each team, so not maybe as tidy. Um, if you look at uh, attack, though, the uh, post-contact meters, 137 from the Sharks, 94 from Gloucester. Uh, ball carries very similar. Lines breaks very similar. Turnovers also very similar for both sides. Uh, penalties this year, 12 by Gloucester, 12 by Sharks. Uh, Gloucester didn't take points very uh, early on. Maybe should have. Maybe, uh, maybe that could have made a bit of a difference. Uh, the Sharks pretty much took whatever was on offer, as you do in a final. Uh, tackle completion also pretty similar. So the stats, you know, don't tell a massive story of a, of a dominant side. But Sharks were clinical. That was the difference. Um, you know, it's they 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 took every opportunity they could, which is what they didn't do um, in 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 majority of the season, where they sometimes had good performances, um, but not capitalized, and sometimes they've had bad performances where they haven't been able to grind out a victory. And today, that pack was just superb. They bullied Gloucester at the end of the day, and I think that was it. Uh, if you look at the the carries, Apple Faster with nine, Zach Versa with nine. Dan Spencer, what a game he had. 18 tackles completed from him. Massive, massive shift um, from him. And the big shifts there um, from the Sharks. Bongi Mami with 10, but apart from that, Ruan Ackerman with 12, Arthur Clark with 15. Uh, if we look at uh, Meets Carry, for example, Fassi 72 uh, was one of the top. But I mean, just a word on uh, on Siamasuku. You know, missed one off the tee. Um, created a try assist uh, and just so good. Just managed the game so well. Grant Williams as well. You saw the cream rise of the crop today. James Fenter, I thought he was. Uh, maybe one of your, you know, sort of uh, more subtle players or also unsung heroes that stood up today. But Etzebeth was solid. Um, the front row was fantastic. Um, I thought that uh, Grant Williams as well was in a bit of a league of his own. The way he managed the game, you know, sniping, kicked beautifully. The tactical kicking was really, really good from the Sharks. Uh, they've been under a lot of pressure this season to have Neil Powell and uh, um, John Plumtree. But tonight... They got it right. There's no other way of saying it. They got it right. They played a game plan that um, Gloucester couldn't uh, couldn't compete with. And uh, that was the difference at the end of the day. So a massive congratulations to the Sharks. Uh, they burgled themselves a Champions Cup spot. It could be at the expense of the Lions. We'll wait and see. So as a Lions fan, I might be very upset about this. But uh, it is a trophy coming back to South Africa. First season in the URC, second season in Europe. And the South African teams are making their mark which is maybe the main thing we need to celebrate. Let me know what you think about the game down in the comments below. Please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve, and I'll chat to you soon.